Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech. Welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about recording your screen on your iPhone. There are a lot of different things that you can do with a screen recording, and there are some different settings and features when setting that up. And I definitely want to walk you through those and kind of show you the different ways. A lot of people think, oh, I could just screen record, but did you know you can screen record with the sound? You can screen record with a microphone. You could screen record with a plugged in microphone. You could screen record from other apps. There are lots of interesting things that you can. Can do and I wanted to show you those right now so that you could become a pro at that feature on your iPhone. All right, so we're going to start off with kind of the most simplest form of screen recording. But first, I'm going to show you how to make it easy to get to screen recording. Uh, in your control center up here, if you swipe down, you can see that I have an icon there that shows that I can screen record. But you need to add it there. And so to get that there, you need to go into your settings menu. You need to scroll down to control center hit customize controls and then down here under your more controls will be screen recording you just simply hit plus and it will add it here and then you can use the handles to kind of reorganize your uh, your control center apps essentially if you want to have them in a certain order so once you've done that then your screen recording icon will be there. To do a simple screen recording, all you have to do is tap on the button and then it starts a countdown. You'll notice that it's recording when you see the red icon up here. We can kind of just move some stuff around here just so that we have something going on in our screen recording. And then you can tap there and either hit cancel to just delete what you just did or hit stop and it will save what you just did. So let's take a look at what we have here. It's playing back right now. You can notice we don't have any audio. You can't hear me talking. Uh, so it's just a plain screen recording with no audio at all. So now let's take a look at creating a screen recording, but with our audio. So we're gonna turn on the microphone. So let's swipe down here. We're gonna tap and hold on that icon. You can see here that we have microphone on and we can toggle it on or off. And so if we toggle it on, now we're able to actually record the audio that we would be saying into the microphone. So you could be recording a screen recording and then also narrating it at the same time. So let's go ahead and hit start screen recording and the screen recording will start, and I'll just narrate. So here's my wallpaper. This is uh, us driving up a steep hill in the middle of nowhere with our travel trailer, and here's all of my apps. And so I'll just go ahead and hit stop. Screen recording will hit stop. I'm going to turn on my sound and turn up the volume to my phone so you can hear that audio. We'll go ahead and tap that. And the screen recording will start, and I'll just narrate. So here's my wallpaper. This is uh, us driving. All right, so you can see now that our screen recording has audio, which is great. So that is something that we could send to somebody if we wanted to. And actually, let me show you how to do that before we get too far into these tutorials. So I'm going to tap on our screen recording here. Down on the bottom left-hand corner, we have the share sheet. We're going to go ahead and tap there. We have people that we can send it to that are already in our contacts or that we've worked uh, connected with before. Um, or we can send it through AirDrop, messages, mail, Instagram, all sorts of different apps. We can just AirPlay it to another device. I mean, there's lots of different things that we can do. We can send it to Dropbox, save to files, all these different options in here for sharing that screen recording. Because usually when you're creating a screen recording, it's to show somebody how to do something. We're going to look at a couple of other reasons to create screen recordings here in this video also. So say you want to screen record an app or something that you're doing within an app, for example, a game. Lots of times you see screen recordings of games, so we're going to choose a game. We'll just go over to uh, one of the new games in the new Apple Arcade, and we'll do a screen recording of some Frogger gameplay. So I'm not going to worry about starting it quite yet. I'm going to get closer to the actual start of the game, and then uh, <laughs> there we go. Let's turn my volume down just a little bit. So we can actually record the audio of the game, or we can choose to record light audio of the game with our microphone. Let's take a look at the first option. So we're going to swipe down. I'm going to tap and hold here. I'm going to turn off microphone. And uh, let's see where we're at in the game just to make sure. All right, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and start our screen recording. Now 
I'm not going to get too carried away with this screen recording since this is just for an example. So now that we've created that, we'll go ahead and watch it. You can see that we have the audio of the game in the background, which is awesome. So we were able to achieve that. Let's go back to our game. And let's go back to our main menu here. So swipe down for control center again, but let's try it with a microphone this time and see what happens. So the audio level has changed and now it's actually utilizing the microphone as well. I'm just going to tap around a little bit and talk a little bit so we could just see how that sounds different in this video with the microphone where in our last video we did not have the microphone. All right, so that one is done. Let's go ahead and watch it. So the audio level has changed. So the audio level has changed and now it's actually utilizing the microphone as well. I'm just going to tap around a little bit and talk a little bit. So as you can see, what the iPhone did is it recorded the game audio and then it also recorded the microphone audio. So if you find yourself talking into your phone a lot while doing these screen recordings, having an external mic is definitely going to increase the quality. I'm going to give you an example here of the microphone and what it sounds like with and without. You'll notice some subtle differences in the audio quality. Quality. So let's swipe down, tap and hold to turn on our microphone, and we'll start recording. Hey, this is a test of the microphone. Hey, this is a test of the microphone on the iPhone. What you're hearing right now is the microphone directly through the iPhone. And now we'll do a screen recording with the Deity video mic. And this is a test with the Deity video mic. And this is a test with the Deity video mic. The microphone does a good job of cutting out sound noise that's kind of coming in from the sides and the back and just isolating my voice coming in from the front of the microphone. Hey, this is a test of the video mic. The microphone does now is the microphone noise that's kind of coming in from So there's a couple examples of creating screen recordings. Let's create a few more. For example, if you wanted to create a video, for example, scrolling a website to put in an Instagram story, it's very simple to do that. What we're gonna do is go into Safari and have our website loaded up that we want to put scrolling in an Instagram story video. We're then gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna turn off the microphone because I don't need that. So I'll hit start recording. We'll wait for the recording icon to show up and then I'll just scroll the website like so, just for a few seconds, and then tap to finish the video. So now all this video is is just me scrolling the website, but it has a little dead space at the beginning that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to tap on Edit, and you can see we get these handles here that are going to allow us to kind of modify our video. Obviously, I want it to start right around when the scrolling starts, and so we're almost two full seconds in there uh, at that point. And so I'm going to slide this slider over this handle here and get to about the two-second mark, and then um, I might take a little bit off of the end as well. There we go. And I'll hit done. And now when I play this, the scrolling starts right away and it looks great. So if I wanted to go into Instagram now, I can tap on Instagram and we'll swipe over and then we'll select our video. And now I can upload this as a video. And of course, I can swipe up and I can add mentions to it. I can add GIFs and stuff like that. Um, like let's add a like a swipe up. There we go. So now we've made an Instagram story out of a uh, screen recording, which is kind of neat. I'm going to discard that. Don't need to add that to my Instagram. So there's a couple different reasons there. Now you can also screen record from within other apps. So when you go to the screen record settings here, you saw that there are different screen recordings that we can do in different apps based on what we have installed. 
Uh, what's nice about this is that rather than screen recording the entire screen, it's just going to screen record what's going on from within the app. So if you're on a Skype video call and you want to screen record that video call, you just simply choose the Skype. Or if you're using Zoom uh, or Facebook Messenger or something like that, you can actually just record the video that's going on instead of recording the entire screen. Because if you record the entire screen, then you're going to have your notifications, you're going to have like uh, the top bar, you know, different things that are showing up. You don't necessarily need those. You just need the video. So those options allow you to do that. And you want to be careful when you're screen recording a video that you're going to be sharing somewhere that you don't have anything showing up on your phone that's going to give away personal information. For example, if you go into your phone and in your recent calls and it shows all the phone numbers of everybody that's called you, you definitely don't want that to show up in a screen recording. So let's look a little bit more at the editing options that are available for video. This is all new in iOS 13. There's a lot more stuff that you can do with video besides just clipping and editing off of the front end and back end of our video. So we can do things like change the color, the exposure, brightness and stuff of our video just by swiping. You can see it changes the exposure. Uh, we can also change the highlights, shadows. These are all things that we can edit in photos, which is kind of nice. Saturation, so maybe you want to make your screen recording black and white. You can also increase the vibrance. So there's lots of editing features that you can do there. You can also just choose filters just to go ahead and throw on top of your video. We can also crop, straighten, and change the perspective of our video as well. There's also some buttons up here that allow you to do things like rotate, flip, resize, which is great because maybe if you captured the video and you wanted it to be a different size, we can go and create a square version of it and then you can move that video around within that square. You can also do free form or just leave it as original. And then there's a whole bunch of different aspect ratios there to choose from as well. So there's lots of really cool things that you can do in the editing bay here, I guess you can call it. And then you can also send your video out to something like iMovie to go ahead and add text and other stuff like that to your video. Video. So definitely really neat. There are video editing apps that you can use as well. That's a little bit more advanced. Premiere Rush is one. LumaFusion is another. Those are video editing apps that give you a lot of flexibility for adding text, for making changes to your video, um, not only just cropping off of the beginning and the end of your video, but also edit points in the middle. So on the topic of adding text and stuff to video, we're going to go ahead and use the app over to add some text to the video. So we did that screenshot video of the website. We're going to go ahead and tap on video and choose that screenshot of the website. So here we have basically the scrolling of the website. We'll hit the check mark and now we can go ahead and add images, graphics, text, shapes, and all that stuff over the top of our video. So I can tap on text. So I can type in some text like check out our website, change the fonts, rotate and resize. I may also want to change the uh, color just to make it stand out a little bit more. We'll add a shadow to it as well. When you're done, go ahead and hit the share button here, which allows us to export our video by saving it to our phone or sharing it to another service. I'll go ahead and hit save. It's going to go ahead and save that video, and then we'll preview it in the Photos app. All right, well, I hope that you found that interesting and that you learned a new way that you could use screen recordings on your phone or maybe even a new feature of that. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Definitely share with me down in the comment section uh, the ways that you use screen recording. Like, what would you use screen recording for? How do you use it? I definitely learn from all of you as well, so I love having conversations down in the comment section uh, because I get to learn from all of you and find out the different ways that you're utilizing your devices. So let's talk down there in the comment section. Click that subscribe button 
so that you can get new videos from us. We're going to be putting out new tech tips every Tuesday because it all rhymes and sounds awesome. So we're going to come back and do that each week. And I hope to share new things with you each week so that you can become more of a, a power user of your smart device and utilize it in a way that helps you get more done in your life and just be more effective because that's why we have a smartphone, right? It's to be smart. So I uh, hope that these videos help out and definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section so we can keep making these videos even better. So until next time, take care. We'll see you back here soon on State of Tech.